Okay, so I'm going to just go through these and talk through the process. Remember what we're trying to get by itself is the x. So if you're picturing this side of the equation is something on a scale and this side is the other side, we want to get what we call like terms together and we want to try to get the x by itself. 15 is a like term with 3 because they're both just numbers. They don't have any variable attached. It's a positive 15 or it's being added, so we're going to do the inverse operation, which is to subtract it. And we end up with 4x is equal to negative 12. How do we get that x by itself? We divide it by the number attached to it, or the coefficient. 4 divided by 4 is equal to an invisible 1. Negative 12 divided by 4 is going to end up being a negative 3. I'm going to go through this pretty quick because we're getting close to the end of class and I just want to show it real quick. To check this, I want to see if I can get both sides of this to equal 3 by taking this negative 3 and putting it in our equation where the x was. We get negative 12 because 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 15. The question is, is that equal to 3? If I start at negative 12 on the number line, and I move to the right 15 places, I'm going to end up at positive 3. So this is 3 equals to 3, and it <coughs> checks. Bless you. Okay, letter D here is like what we talked about earlier. We've got this reversed, where negative 8 is on the left and our x is on the right. It doesn't really matter. We still just balance that scale out and try to get the x by itself. I have negative 8 over here, 3x here, and negative 5. Which of these are my like terms? Negative 8 and negative 5. They're the numbers that are in this equation not attached to a variable. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. On the right side of the equation, negative 5 and positive 5 zeroed out, leaving us with 3x. If I divide both sides by 3, negative 3 divided by positive 3 is negative 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1, leaving us with just x. And real quick, negative 8 is equal to 3 times negative 1. I don't know why I put a parenthesis there minus 5, and I get negative 8 is equal to negative 3 minus 5. Negative 8 is equal to negative 8, and it checks. Okay, we'll pick up with some more simple